This is your boy Chris with the next. And today I want to talk about where's the good and goodbye. There's a good and goodbye if um, the person's not treating you right. You know, sometimes you just gotta take your memories and go because people aren't always who they say they are. You know, sometimes we get attached to people too soon and we don't really get to know their true intention and their true feelings. But when they come out, you know, that's that's where the good and goodbye is. You know, we do get hurt. Some people do it intentionally, some people do it unintentionally. And believe me, nobody's perfect. That's why I'm making this video. You know, but once you find the source of the problem in your life, and once you find it out it's that person, you know, not everybody that you lose is a loss to your life. You know, not everybody you lose is a loss to your life. You know, sometimes you just, you just gotta take the memories and go. Because some people don't change. Some things will never change. And that's just the way it is in life. You know, we just gotta, you know, keep moving on, you know, perseverance. And, you know, just not let people get the best of us. Don't let yourself go over a person. And the reason why I, I titled this video The Words of the Good and Goodbye because sometimes we can't get over a person. And it's really hard, and I know how it is. You know, sometimes we think people are essential to our lives, but they were only essential for that point in time, you know. Some people's versions of forever it could be one second. So, you know, you just gotta keep meeting people, you gotta keep getting out there until you find a person that suits you and that's truly forever, you know. And this goes for friendship, love, any type of family, any type of relationship. You know, just keep your head up. And believe me, nobody's perfect. You know, I've done it too. That's why I'm making this video. It's definitely not an easy thing to do, but once you get yourself into some hobbies, once you get yourself into other things, you finally forget that person. And there is an art of letting go. And once you let go, everything feels much better. Because there is an art of letting go of toxic people in your life. You know, like I said, some people just don't change. And it's not your fault. You know, don't let somebody trick you into thinking it's all your fault, especially if they couldn't hold up their end of the weight. You know, you just remain doing you. <laughs> don't go beating yourself up. Don't go thinking it's your fault, you know, because sometimes, you know, yeah, sometimes we do have fault in it, but mostly it's the other person's fault. You know, just sometimes you just gotta get over it. And that's the unfortunate part of life, you know. We come across toxic people, but some people come to your life as a blessing, some come as a lesson. And I definitely took my lesson learned with certain people. And sometimes, you just gotta, like I said, there's an art of letting go. Let go. If it takes you to throw out stuff that they gave you, if it takes you to delete that number, anything, do it. Because anything that's helpful to your health and your life is worth it. Nobody's worth your time of you dying, getting sick, going to the hospital. I mean nobody. You know, just take the good memories and go with them. You know, sometimes things just don't work out, unfortunately. Like I said, it happens in life. But you just got to keep going on. Never let who you are, never let anybody else affect who you are. You are who you are, remain you. Forget them. If they can't hold up to your standards, put them out of your life. Love isn't supposed to hurt, and it isn't supposed to be growing pains. If you think somebody's a growing pains to your life, X them out. It should be growing positivity, not growing pains, not growing anything negative. Thank you for watching my video. I hope this was helpful to you. Any suggestions, any comments, leave them in the comments below. This has been your boy Chris with an X.